Forget the image of a 100,000 ton super aircraft carrier. Forget the USS Gerald R. Ford. It is a symbol of power from the 20th century. The future of naval power is not a floating city. It is a floating hive, and it is unlike anything the world has ever seen. For 80 years, aircraft carriers have been the queens of the seas. But in the age of hypersonic missiles, carrier killers like the DF-21D, they are also a $13 billion target with 5,000 lives aboard, a gigantic and glittering bullseye. The queen has become too vulnerable. So what will you do? You don't build a bigger shield, you change the game. You don't put all your eggs in one basket. You build hundreds of baskets. The drone carrier is not a ship. It is a network. It is a swarm. Imagine a vessel. It is sleek, stealthy, and almost flat. There is no crew on board, or maybe just a core group of 20 people. No grand dining hall, no sleeping quarters, no amenities for humans. 90% of the ship is just fuel, engines, and a flat runway. It is a machine built purely for its cargo. And its cargo is a completely new kind of fleet. Not 80 expensive F-35s, but 500 or 1,000 smart drones controlled by AI. Some for reconnaissance, some for electronic warfare, some simply as kamikaze drones, one-way trips. This is the new nightmare of naval warfare. An American supercarrier, like the Ford, will stay 1,000 miles back, absolutely safe. It will launch its drone escorts. These unmanned queens will venture into the danger zone. When the enemy fleet is detected, the queens will unleash hell. This is not a battle, it is a saturation. The enemy's Aegis system, no matter how smart, cannot track a thousand targets. It is an AI swarm, a relentless wave of steel, fully expendable. This is not just a new ship, this is a new doctrine. It is the end of the heroic pilot era and the beginning of the ruthless algorithm age. It is a shift from quality to quantity, a terrifying, decentralized, an entirely unmanned vision of the future. The drone carrier is coming, and it will forever change the face of the ocean.